All right, we got uh, another week out of the way. This is really only about two or three weeks actually working on an airplane and waiting on everything to get back from powder coating. But I wanted to kind of show you where I'm at, document where I'm at. So actually, hang on, I'll turn this thing around. All right, got most everything back from powder coating. I'm still waiting on a few little odds and ends. I actually got a call today. Most of that is done. By the way, it's December 12th. The tail feathers just locked into place. Uh, the only thing I did a little bit different there, those wires with the turnbuckles obviously are temporary. I just use those to square everything up before I start putting the regular wires in. The turnbuckles really did work excellent. You just kind of adjust here and there and tell everything is perfect. I did get lucky on the alignment of my elevator. I know a lot of people had issues with that. That uh, actually went perfectly on mine, so no problem. We've got all the stringers in place, so I've got this made. It, nothing is high sold yet, but everything is in place. Uh, one issue with the XL that I did find is um, on the bottom stringer, you're supposed to come up, curve inside uh, the bottom of the fuselage, and my tube wasn't long enough to do that so I called and to find out what was what was going on I thought maybe there was a shorter tube for the uh, uh, regular Highlander and that's what they'd sent me but now it turns out that mine was actually not supposed to have this fitting for the bottom for that aluminum spigot there it was supposed to stop at this point and then just curve up in here so I've got to go back and shorten those which like I said nothing's high salt so it's not a big deal shorten those and then just bring that up in there and uh, not use that back spigot got the seats fitted Got all the latches in, everything works like it's supposed to. Got the mixer in, and the other issue that I ended up coming across, I don't know if anybody else ran into it, I did call and talk to the factory and they're, they're getting it sorted out just to make sure it doesn't happen on any other planes. But So on the control rod that runs down back to the bell crank for the elevator, it runs up to the uh, mixer, it's got these two supports here and here with nylon bushings in them and those are supposed to be in a pretty much of a straight line between the mixer and the bell crank well they are in a straight line they do offset but unfortunately if you can see mine were canted actually this front one was canted back toward the passenger side and that one was actually pretty well straight so i ended up having to put extra bend in my tube right here to accommodate that and because i had to do that extra bend i ended up having to use the long control rod that goes in the back on the xl version because the one that normally goes up here would end up being about an inch too short so this one i have to cut down they're sending me an, another end to go in it and then once i figure out exactly the length i'll cut it and weld that new end in it and that'll be fine uh, like i said a replacement for the rear one and that will go in it and that will be good. It's my mock-up of my control panel. So what I really wanted to do, I don't know if you can see that. I wanted the panel as narrow as possible. I think I might have talked a little bit about this in the last video. Just so you can see. I can't remember if I had that in there. I haven't made this up in carbon fiber yet, but I will be making that up in carbon fiber. Make the molds as soon as I get everything situated. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Everything's coming back from the powder coater so I can start clipping along really well now <laughs> one thing I did run across a lot in the uh, in the forums and stuff a lot of people talking about it whenever you align the leading edge of your elevator with the leading edge of your horizontal stabilizer the back of the elevators are offset one's about a half inch three-quarters of an inch taller than the other and that's by design and a lot of people apparently didn't know that uh, I wouldn't have known it if I hadn't have uh, ran across it in the forums. And uh, a lot of people went through the trouble of straightening it or uh, redoing the, the horns on the elevators, trying to get everything lined up. Well, they, they are supposed to be off. It's supposedly to prevent flutter. I don't know if that would have been a real issue or not, but if you happen to run into that, that's normal. That's how it's supposed to be off a little bit. So, all right. Uh, that's my update for this week. I'll, uh, I'll get you another one next Friday. Talk to you then. Bye.